Hi, everyone. My name is Ursula. I had a birthday not so long ago and received an unusual gift from my parents. They left me a small box with a combination lock, but there was no code, and I had to spend a lot of time to solve this riddle. This is what I want to tell you about. But first, I'll have to tell you a sad story about my parents. The fact is that my parents died in a car accident not so long ago. Doctors kept trying to save them for a long time to no avail. They had fatal injuries. It happened just before I turned 18. Of course, I didn't celebrate my birthday. Instead, I packed up all my things and moved in with my grandmother because I could no longer stay in my parents' apartment. One day, several months later, quite unexpectedly, my grandmother showed me a small, bright bag. She said that my parents wanted to present this gift for my birthday. I didn't give it to you right away because you weren't ready yet, but now I think it's time to give you the present, my grandma said and put the bag next to me. To be honest, at first I didn't want to open it because lately I've tried to avoid everything that had anything to do with my parents. Although much time has passed, it was still hard for me. However, curiosity overwhelmed me and I looked inside. There was a small white box, but it was unusual. It had a combination lock. I examined the bag again, hoping to find the note with a code to open the box, but there was nothing else inside. Grandma said that there was no way she lost it. My parents left the present at her place that day as they planned to have a birthday party at her house, and she hasn't touched it since then. I tried to enter various significant dates for our family, but nothing worked. I put the box aside and thought that I would forget about it soon, but I couldn't. I was wondering what my parents had prepared for me for my birthday. Then I decided to do what I hadn't dared do before. I decided to go back to their apartment. I thought I could find at least some clue there, and the very next morning I got on the very first bus and went there. I was overwhelmed with conflicting emotions, and at some point I wanted to go back. But I changed my mind because my parents probably wanted me to receive their gift. I got there and began to rummage through their stuff. I was filled with fond memories of how we used to have a great time. However, in recent months, I began to estrange myself from my parents because I was studying hard and preparing for exams all the time. Because of this, I was very nervous and often went off on them. Now I'm really ashamed of my behavior because we could have done something together instead of fighting. I was thinking about it and neatly putting all things back into their places. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a piece of paper with the code or any clue. Before leaving, I noticed a sticker on the fridge reminding them to call Aunt Kem. Hmm, what if she knows something about this box? Perhaps Dad told his sister about it. But I don't remember the last time I called Aunt Kim or visited her after my parents had died, although we used to be very close. After the death of my parents, I estranged myself from all of my relatives and friends as I couldn't recover or put up with my grief. When I called my aunt, she was very happy to hear me and said that she would like me to come visit her, and I was at her house within the hour. Aunt Kim baked my favorite cookies, especially for my arrival, and I felt so good when I saw her because next to her it seemed to me that Dad was also there, since they were very similar in nature. I asked my aunt if she knew anything about the white box that my parents wanted to give me. She replied that they were going to arrange a kind of birthday quest for me to find my main gift. I don't think they came up with a very complicated code, Aunt Kim said. Then she came up with an idea. She knew that I entered all possible dates except for my 18th birthday. And it worked! The box opened and I found a small greeting card in which my parents congratulated me on my birthday. It also said that I should find a thing which I had never parted with as a child in my grandmother's house. It was a teddy bear named Christopher with which I used to sleep, play, and even have tea parties. 
Has Grandma saved it after so many years? When I returned, I asked my granny about Christopher right away. She said that she had cleaned up the house recently and most likely put it in the attic along with the rest of the old stuff. I went there at once to find the teddy bear. There were a lot of boxes of dusty things in the attic that made my hands itch. I spent the whole evening trying to find Christopher, but I couldn't find the toy. Perhaps my grandma had accidentally thrown it away and just didn't remember? If so, then I would never be able to make any progress in the quest. I was about to leave the attic and suddenly saw the teddy bear in the farthest corner. I was very happy that I was still able to find it. A note was attached to its paw. It said that the box had a secret compartment that could be opened with a special key, and it could be found in the place where we liked to gather with the whole family most often. I thought hard and recollected only two places. The thing is that my parents bought an apartment in the city center not so long ago, and before that we lived with my grandmother in this house. We often liked to gather in the kitchen in the evenings to chat, and on the terrace to enjoy a pleasant warm evening. At first, I rushed to the kitchen and examined every cup and drawer, and then I went to the terrace. Although it was very dark outside and I could hardly see anything, I still didn't give up and kept on searching for the key to the box. It took me at least half an hour to find it under the rose bush that my mom and I loved so much. I immediately opened the secret compartment of the box and found another key there. It was a little bigger. No note was attached to it. Probably my parents wanted to tell me what the key opened. I asked my grandmother about the key. She took a close look at it and said that most likely it was supposed to open my personal safe deposit box. Apparently, the main gift was kept there. I spent most of the night awake waiting for the morning because I couldn't wait to go to the bank and take what my parents left me. When I got there, the bank clerk opened the safe deposit box and let me take all the contents from there. There was a large box wrapped in a black bag. When I got home, I opened it right away and saw several discs with videos of all my birthday parties, as well as a greeting card and jewels. My grandma said that those were our family jewels. As soon as the heir turns 18 years old, they get all the jewels, which they will have to give to the next generation as well. Believe it or not, they didn't make me as happy as the discs. My parents used to record my birthday party every year, and I never liked it. But watching the videos now, I realized that they were right to do it. We were such a friendly and happy family. I wish I hadn't fought with them so often in recent months. These videos helped me finally get over what had happened and let go of my grief. Now I have wonderful memories of my parents that they left for me, and I can watch the videos every day and see my parents young and happy. Now I feel better on a moral level. I began to hang out more often with Aunt Kim and with my friends. Fortunately, no one had hard feelings for me, and everyone was glad that I was able to recover and start a new life. Would you be happy with such a gift? Give your answers in the comments, like the video, and don't forget to share it with your friends.